April 24, 2022, Armenians worldwide and the Progressive Society observed the 107th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide, the first genocide of the 20th century. Armenian Genocide was carried out in several phases, but its beginning is considered April 24, 1915. From 1892 to 1923, Ottoman Sultan Abdul Hamid II and later the Young Turks subjected the Armenians of Western Armenia, Cilicia and the Ottoman Empire to mass deportation and extermination. Around 1.5 million Armenians were killed between 1915 and 1923. More than half a million Armenians dispersed around the world. As a result of the genocide, Western Armenia was left without its indigenous people and the Armenians were dispossessed of their historical homeland. Armenian genocide recognized by numerous countries including Russia, France, Italy, Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium, Poland, Lithuania, Slovakia, Sweden, Switzerland, Greece, Cyprus, Lebanon, Canada, Venezuela, Argentina, the Vatican, and most U.S. states. It was first acknowledged in 1965 by Uruguay. This calamity is also recognized by the General Assembly of the United Nations, the European Parliament, World Council of Churches, and several other international organizations. Commemorations of this tragedy are held in virtually all countries where Armenians live. The main remembrance events, however, take place at the Armenian Genocide Memorial on the Zanagapert Hill in Armenia's capital city of Yerevan. Armenia's authorities, members of governments, representatives of the diplomatic corps, political parties, members of the Armenian diaspora, and numerous guests visit Zanagapert on this day to pay tribute to the genocide victims. The annual day-long procession began today with an official wreath-laying ceremony at the Hilltop Memorial led by Armenia. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and President Vahagan Khachaturian. Thousands assembled in Yerevan on Saturday evening to participate in the annual march to commemorate the anniversary of the 1915 Armenian Genocide. The annual torchlight procession dedicated to the innocent victims of the Armenian Genocide this year had the slogan Wake Up Lao. Second President Robert Kocharyan and Third President Ser Sarkisyan also took part in this procession. And Arthur Van Etzian, the leader of the opposition with honor faction of the National Assembly and chairman of the opposition homeland party of Armenia, who has been on a sit-in for already a week now at Freedom Square in downtown Yerevan and his supporters joined this torchlight procession as well. The procession headed to the Armenian Genocide Memorial in Yerevan. Along with the torchlight procession in Yerevan, there was a similar procession in Artsakh capital Stepanagert. Torchlight processions have been held every year in both Yerevan and Stepanagert, but this year these processions are more crucial amid the current crisis on the Artsakh issue. Turkey continues to deny a premeditated government effort to exterminate Ottoman Turkey's Armenian population. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said that Armenians themselves massacred Muslim civilians and that their mass deportations to a Syrian desert was the most reasonable action that could be taken by the Ottoman government. Meanwhile, member of the Turkish parliament, Garo Paylan, who is of Armenian descent, has submitted a bill on recognition of the Armenian genocide to the Grand National Assembly of Turkey, reports Agos. The bill submitted on the 107th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide also demands the identification of those responsible for the crime. However, Speaker of the Turkish Parliament Mustafa Shentop has returned HDP lawmaker Garo Paylan's bill on the recognition of the Armenian Genocide, maintaining that it contradicts the provisions of the Rules of Procedure and TV reports. Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu in turn makes the gesture of the racist Grey Wolves organization to demonstrators from the Armenian community in Uruguay who were marching the day before the 107th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide. The international community continues to reflect on the Armenian Genocide. U.S. President Joe Biden said in a statement that 107 years later, the American people continue to honor all Armenians who perished in the genocide. After enduring the genocide, the Armenian people were determined to rebuild their community and their culture, so often in new homes and new lands, including the United States, he said. The Cyprus government, in turn, said that Turkey continues to deny its crimes against the Armenian people. The French embassy also expressed support and sympathy for the Armenian people, while the British ambassador, in turn, laid a wreath in an Armenian genocide memorial in Yerevan.